Have you got shoulder pain? You've been doing all the stretches, the pec stretches, the lat stretches, foam rolling, trigger balling, but still dealing with shoulder pain? Then it might actually be a result of your thoracic mobility. So in today's video, what I wanna show you is a quick test that you can do at home to see if thoracic mobility, especially in extension, is an issue for you and is it contributing to your shoulder pain? So the test that you can do, just grab a broomstick or something light. We're gonna do an overhead squat to begin with. So from this position, coming down and squatting like that. Now the, the width of your arms, it should be, so when you come here, roughly about 90 degrees at the angles there. You don't wanna go really, really wide because that makes it a bit easier. So about there, up, and then coming down into a squat like that. If you have an issue with thoracic mobility, what you're gonna see is collapsing forward like that. And that you'll see is because the shoulders are coming forward means they're gonna you know, ultimately sit in an internally rotated position and get more stress on them throughout the day contributing to your shoulder pain. So what do we need to do about that? We address that thoracic mobility with a series of three different progressions of exercises to change the mechanics of the shoulder and the back. So the first exercise and the easiest to start with is called the puppy dog pose. It's actually a yoga position, but we're gonna modify it a little bit so that you can really open up that thoracic mobility. It's coming down onto the ground here, kneeling, arms extended out in front, and the hips have to be over the, um, the knees. You don't wanna be sitting back, that's child's pose, a whole different position. Coming down here, once you're in that position, you're gonna breathe in and out. And as you breathe out, you sink your sternum down and through, and that's gonna mobilize that mid back into extension and sort of get you into a more upright position. Then you're gonna go in and out of that a few times, holding the deepened position for about two seconds, coming back out, down again, and then on your last one, the 10th rep, you'll hold for 10 seconds. All right, so once you've done that, exercise probably for about a week you'll start to feel a lot more comfortable in that position and we're going to go into the next progression of that which is called a prayer stretch so what you do at the gym or at home with like a bench or even on like a dining chair that's probably about the right height you're going to come into here elbows just on the edge of the bench knees right back preferably behind the hips and then you're going to drop down like so so the, what you're doing with your sum again, the same as the puppy dog position where you're coming through like that, but this time you can even add some overpressure with your hands. So from here in and out and dropping down and same sort of method. So for each rep, you'll hold that for two seconds and then the last one, hold it for about 10, going through that 10 times. Now, again, once you've finished about a week or two on the prayer stretch, you're gonna advance that to the next level, the third phase, which is the wall angel. So if we come over here, you're just gonna do this against the wall. Now, in an ideal world, you'll be elbows and wrists on the wall and you're coming up all the way like that, sliding them up the wall. Not many people can do that. You've gotta have pretty good mobility. So what you're gonna do is start with the range that you can, keeping the elbows and wrists on. Once they start to pop off, then you come back down and you try to work a couple of centimeters more each rep. So from here up all the way. And for me, I feel that getting really stiff in the mid back, coming back down. And you'll just work in those reps up and down there. What you also wanna be sure is your bum is flat on the wall, ankles maybe like no more than that far off the wall and try to even keep the ribs down and the lumbar spine flat against the wall there. Doing that for a couple of weeks so you've got the three phases there, that should have a drastic effect on your thoracic mobility, correct the position of the shoulders, and then relieve some of that stress you're getting. So if you're having any pain with this, or you have any questions, feel free to drop a comment below and I'll get back to you and uh, subscribe to the channel and we'll see you next time.